It was on September 5, 1977, when NASA first launched the Voyager 1 spacecraft into space. It was originally launched to explore the outer planets in our solar system. Voyager 1 has been operating for 45 years and still remains in contact through NASA's Deep Space Network. Fast forward to 2022, the spacecraft had been still going strong, having now reached 23.3 billion kilometers from Earth. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first man made object to cross the heliosphere and enter interstellar space. Heliosphere is the boundary of the Sun's influence. It is currently operating at the edge of the solar system, flying through the interstellar medium beyond the Sun's influence. However, owing to such a staggeringly long journey, it seems the spacecraft has started to feel the toll, raising concerns for NASA. According to NASA, scientists have detected issues in Voyager's attitude articulation and control system. This system allows the spacecraft to maintain its orientation and keeps its high-gain antenna pointed precisely at Earth to transfer data. However, NASA found that the readouts by this system are not reflecting correctly, even though the spacecraft is operating normally and is receiving and executing commands from Earth. NASA further said that the system's telemetry data being sent is invalid, as it appears to be randomly generated and do not reflect what is actually happening on the spacecraft. Despite these anomalies, Voyager continues to send signals at the same strength, as its high-gain antenna is still in its normal position, pointing towards Earth. Notably, the technical glitch has not triggered any onboard fault protection systems, which would put the spacecraft into safe mode. NASA says that it will continue to monitor the situation, as it is possible that the invalid data could be being produced by another system. However, NASA does not understand why it is happening, or how long this issue could continue. It takes approximately two days for a message from Earth to reach Voyager and get a response from the craft. The spacecraft is almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. Voyager is also in interstellar space, which is a high radiation environment where no spacecraft has ever flown before. So there are some big challenges for the engineering team. But if there's a way to solve this issue, the Voyager team will surely fix it. There is a possibility that NASA will not find the source of the issue and instead will have to make software changes or use one of the craft's backup systems. This is something that has been done before in 2017 when Voyager had to switch from its primary thrusters to secondary ones because of the signs of degradation. The Voyager spacecrafts were designed to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once in every 176 years. They will remain the most distant human-made objects in existence. Voyager 1's next big encounter will take place in 40,000 years, when the spacecraft will come within 1.7 light-years of the star Gliese 445. The star is roughly 17.5 light-years from Earth. Voyager 1 will be closer to this star than it was to our own Sun. However, Voyager 1's falling power supply means it will probably stop collecting scientific data around 2025. Voyager 2 is currently 19.5 billion kilometers away from Earth, and both the spacecrafts are likely to stay operational till 2025.